for every person, there is always this really difficult tension of the calling of God in our life and our willingness to walk it out. I'm going to talk about that tension today and how you can begin to overcome it today here on 5-Minute Mentoring. Hey, my friend, I'm so glad that you are with me today here on 5-Minute Mentoring. You know, tension is one of those beautiful things that God has built into our human experience. I think of the violin, in fact, in any kind of stringed instrument. The reason that sound is able to be produced is not just because of the talent of the player, it's because of the tension that's created between the wood and the strings. It's when things get tight and then the bow is able to run across those strings and the fingers are able to do what they're supposed to do. That's when the beautiful sound is made. And yet it's in that tension that many times we just feel like giving up. It's in that tension that that fear comes. It's in that tension that our fears get magnified, that our past mistakes replay over and over through our mind. It's, it's in that tension where the imposter syndrome just comes up and says, you are not who you think you are. I don't know what you're thinking about doing. I don't know why you're thinking about this. You just need to sit down. You're disqualified. You're not enough. Listen, every person, especially every person with the divine design of God on them, which is every everybody and every artist, all of us deal with this. And so there's there's this really important thing that you've got to realize that it's the intentionality of your heart and your willingness to press through those times of feeling like, I can't do it, I, I just want to quit. You've got to press through. You've got to learn to walk with what I call that spiritual grit, that tenacity enabled by the grace and the power of the Holy Spirit so that you can stretch and reach and lean into the thing that God has for you. It doesn't mean that you're perfect. It doesn't mean that you've not messed up. In, in fact, Paul talked about this beautifully. In fact, in, in uh, Philippians 3, uh, 3 uh, 13 through 14 in the New Living, it says this. He says, brothers and sisters, listen, I can hear him. <laughs> he said, hey, listen, I've not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past, looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. Listen, one of the most important things that you can do in learning to step into the promise that God has for your life is forget the past. You gotta let go of all the things that have held you bound, all the fears, all the mistakes, all the times where you weren't enough or you made a mistake and you didn't feel like you would ever recover all the times when people accused you, all the, the deep traumatic things that you've walked through. Listen, Jesus is here and he wants to heal those things so that you can forget those things that is put them off of your radar and start moving into the fullness of what God has for you. But you're never, ever going to do that by yourself. You know, that's one of the frustrating things I think about the kingdom <laughs> Is that most of the time I want to try to do this thing by myself. And yet when I see people uh, frustrated and dealing with the same things over and over and over again, it's usually one of three reasons. Number one, they're trying to do this thing without God. They're just trying to do it in their own strength. Number two, they're trying to do it without help. That is somebody that's walked through that before and has the practical help they need. Number three, they're just trying to do it alone in general without telling anybody what's going on or without sharing the journey. And none of those are the Lord. See, God's designed us to walk in community because it's in community that we both give and receive the life-giving nature of God into each other. Other people have part of what you need to fulfill the call on your life and, and vice versa. Also, God doesn't call us to try to figure things out by ourselves. He brings leaders into our life. He brings people who are wise in different areas, art, business, uh, spirituality, relationships, life, love, whatever it is. He brings those people into our life so that we can learn from their experiences. And number three, God doesn't call us to, to do this thing on our own and just try to serve him as his servants. No, we're sons and daughters. And so God wants to walk with us in this journey, leading us by revelation in every area so that it's him that's providing the grace and the momentum in our lives so that we can walk in everything that he designed for us. Listen, if you are in that tension right now, if you're feeling like, oh, I know God's called me to this thing, but I just like all the stuff I've been through, I just don't know if I can do this one more time. Friend, I want to give you an invitation. Would you try 
one more time. Would you step up to the plate one more time? And I can't think of a better place for you to do that, a safer place, a more supportive place to do that than inside our art challenge and master class called Artists Rise Up. We do it a couple of times a year. It's an opportunity where I, I gather literally thousands of artists from all over the world and, and just about every creative medium. Artists who are not only great at what they do, who are pro artists, hobbyist artists, what I call ENT artists. What is that? Every now and then artists. <laughs> and, and artists all the way in between. Artists that are painters and potters and writers and poets and dancers and musicians and basket weavers and fiber artists, everything in between. People who love Jesus. And they're wanting to go after everything that God has for them. And listen, there's a lot of them, maybe you, who are sitting there right now thinking, ah, I just don't know if I can do it again. I don't know if I'm willing to put my heart out there again and believe that God could actually do something in my life. And my friend, listen, I believe you're listening to this podcast and you're watching this on YouTube maybe right now by divine appointment. This is your opportunity. This is your invitation to step out and experience new life, new kingdom reality in your life and in your art, potentially in, in a new business or ministry, whatever it is God's called you to. But it all begins with Artists Rise Up. Listen, it's absolutely free. It's a couple of weeks of great teaching, uh, art challenges every day. It's gonna be uh, you know prizes. We're gonna be sharing with each other, encouraging each other along the way. I'm gonna be answering questions and I can't think of a better place for you to kind of stick your toe in the water again and start experiencing the life that Jesus promised you, that abundant life that happens when you step into your divine design. So join me. All the information is right here in the show notes. You can grab it right now. Register is absolutely free, but registration is required so we can keep you up to date with what's going on the challenge. And uh, I can't wait to see you there inside Artists Rise Up. All right. I love you, my friend. And uh, remember, until next time, you were created to thrive. All right. Bye.